What's going on gamers? It's Lamar aka Sub No Hero here and today I'm going to be giving you guys a rundown of everything that happened at uh, Ubisoft press conference at E3. So yeah, the conference started off with Just Dance 2017 which was um, really awkward to watch. Like I, I didn't know what was going on like the first half of that. Um, I'm glad they didn't spend any time like actually showing in gameplay of it because I mean they do, they, they do that every year and it's just like we, we know what Just Dance is like we don't really need another actual gameplay of it so I mean <laughs> like I'm, glad, I'm just glad they didn't show anything besides that like little opening which I mean to give credit I thought it was pretty cool. So next we have Ghost Recon Wildlands and that game's gonna be coming out in March of 2017. I really, really, really enjoyed everything that came out of this um, playthrough. You know, they showed us a little bit of a uh, little bit of of what goes on in the missions, and we got to see a little bit of the uh, cinematic stuff. I thought it was pretty cool overall. It really isn't much different from the rest of the Tom Clancy stuff that goes on every year but um, I guess seeing like the Ghost Recon at least in a different environment was pretty cool. Next we got the new South Park game Fractured But Whole. Um, this whole thing was pretty amusing. I really enjoyed everything that came out of it. It was uh, a lot of jokes. I mean obviously the South Park. Yeah I really think the whole um, entire South Park segment was pretty cool. It was pretty funny. Um, I didn't play the first game, but um, I do watch South Park while well, I used to. Um, so I might actually play the game. I don't know. Overall, it does look uh, pretty funny to play. And it'll be out December 6th of 2016. So that's coming up pretty soon. Next, we have The Division. Uh, just two new expansions that they talked about briefly. First one being Underground, which is coming out June 28th this year. Um, they didn't really give too much detail on it, but I'm interested to see what the plot is of the new expansion. And also they said um, that there would be three skins, three new um, uh, skins for your, for your player in Division that'll be coming out uh, that are that are based off of um, other Tom Clancy games um, then the second expansion which is survival uh, it just said coming soon I don't think it really had a confirmed date yet but that one is I think more so tailored to like the, the start of everything if you're familiar with the division and the storyline I think so that was like based on like the beginning I'm not really sure the, the, the cinematic didn't really give me any type of information, but uh, yeah, both of these, being somebody that plays the game, um, I definitely am sort of interested in playing the expansions. There's a lot of problems with uh, Division right now, but I would maybe play it. I don't know. <laughs> then there's um, Eagle Flight VR. Um, Eagle Flight <laughs> looked really like... Uh, it, it looked like a virtual reality game um, in that it kind of has crappy graphics. Um, I'm honestly not impressed with all of the VR stuff that's been coming out, um, especially like the games. They, they're just not impressing me. I, I need VR to develop a little bit more until I'm actually sort of interested in it. But Eagle Flight looks kind of fun. Like from what they showed, it was uh, it looked it looked it looked pretty fun. Um, a lot more fun than Star Trek. Um, so the next VR game that they announced was Star Trek Bridge Crew, um, which was a lot of talking. I barely saw any type of gameplay, and it looks really bad. But I mean, if you like Star Trek and you're into that sort of thing, 
and you want to play it on VR, then I mean, it's your game for you, but uh, just just looking at it from parents, it, it looks pretty bad. Next we have probably one of the hypest games of the entire Ubisoft conference, in my opinion, which is uh, For Honor. Uh, For Honor will be coming out on Valentine's Day of 2017. Um, it definitely looked pretty good, honestly. I th think I might get it. Um, the gameplay was pretty good. The uh, cinematic was <laughs> really cool. And For Honor just is it, it's not, I don't think it's really anything new that we haven't been seeing with all these like other games, but uh, I think it's definitely something that's a little refreshing coming out of Ubisoft at least. So uh, I'm looking forward to seeing more from that game and I think I might get it. I already signed up for the beta. <laughs> so uh, yeah, hopefully I get a chance to play that. And yeah, like I said, it'll be coming out um, February 14th of 2017. Then we have throw up game. They really didn't like show anything. So there's really not much to talk about with this game. Uh, I just know that it's coming out August of 2016, but they really didn't show anything. Uh, the guy literally just came out and said, hey, we had a game and then just left. Okay, now next we have Trails of the Blood Dragon, which honestly looked pretty cool. Um, it it seems like it's one of those like um, uh, platform games, right? Like I don't I don't really play much of that stuff. It looked pretty cool though, so I mean the the visuals are pretty pretty on point. It's on PS4 and uh, Xbox One, and it's already out now. So if you want to go play it, you can go play it right now. Well, almost down the list, there's the Assassin's Creed movie that they talked about a little bit more. Um, it's coming out December of this year. Yeah, they didn't really show much of Assassin's Creed anything. Like, there wasn't even, like, hardly a new trailer. It was just like, hey, here's some behind-the-scenes stuff, and the director talked a lot. But, um... I probably won't go see this in the movies, but it does look kind of interesting, I guess. And I may, like, catch it on, I don't know, catch it on TV or something like that whenever it, it gets around to that. But, um, if you're, a real, if you're a real fan of Assassin's Creed and you really think that this movie might do well, then definitely go see it. Then, second to last, we have Watch Dogs 2. Uh, Watch Dogs 2 is coming out this year in November um, it looked pretty good I mean nothing too kind of fancy to me like it kind of looks a lot like <laughs> the first watchdog so I mean a lot of probably obviously like a little bit of more um, gadgets and stuff like that are involved but overall I think that watchdogs 2 looks pretty good it looks just like the first one and um, you know, there's not a lot of problems like the first one, uh, PC-wise, I guess. And I think it'll be a pretty good game, and I'm looking forward to seeing more from it. Um, not really sold 100% from what they showed at uh, the conference, but uh, it looks like a solid game. I think I think I may play it. Who knows? Uh, last but not least, there is Steep. Now, Steep is a sports game which you know I had already written off <laughs> from the start because I don't really play sports games like that but like really this game looks amazing like it's really 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 amazing the the, the visual for this game is insane and um it it actually looks appealing like I might get it honestly it looks pretty good and it's coming out December tw uh, 2016 and so that's yeah that's pretty soon so I think I might actually invest in that because that game looks pretty fun um it's like it's like 
it's 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 standard for you know a sports game like it, it's just got your skiing and uh you know wing um blind and all stuff like that but it the the visuals honestly is what's it, it's what's selling me right now because the game just looks amazing um but that's really all that happened not a lot well it was a long Ubisoft conference, I'll say that much. But overall, not a lot of like standout games for me from Ubisoft. Um, only a couple stood out for me. But overall, I think that Ubisoft had a pretty, I'm pretty sure they had a pretty good time. Um, so let me know in the comments below what do you guys think about Ubisoft's conference? Um, what games are you looking forward to getting or? seeing more of let me know because you've been waiting on the next thing i would say i'm on a new way